Hello ladies and gentlemen, James Blackwell here. And in today's video, I've got something very exciting I wanted to gift to you. So I'm actually gonna give you some training that is in our higher level uh, seven figure mastermind. And this was a workshop training that we did around building out a signature sales system. So I'm gonna walk you through actually what is a signature sales system why you need to actually have that in your side, your recruitment agency to win platinum clients, exclusive and retained. So this is a clip uh, around about 25 minutes, I think or so. And we really deep dive into uh, why we actually build out this signature sales system. So I hope you find this video useful. If you actually want this customized and built on for you um, in terms of your signature sales pitch deck and how you're gonna pitch exclusive and retained business with clients, uh, then book in a call with either myself or my team and basically we can walk you through how that would work inside our program and really map out the steps in terms of actually building out a signature sales system for you. So I hope you find uh, this video valuable and useful. And if you do, please smash that like button and I'll catch you soon. Thank you. Gordon, so welcome to the Seven Figure CEO Workshop. Uh, over the next uh, three sessions, we're gonna be walking you through the exact steps that I've took um, in my business, Ronald James, to get it seven figures and beyond. So this is a progression from Accelerator. And over these next three days, we're going to be covering off a lot. So it's going to be jam-packed. You're going to get tons of value. There's going to be a lot of plug-and-play templates that we're going to be giving you um, that I've used in my agency for you to use in yours. So we're going to be building out a lot of systems and processes and really covering all of the steps to start getting you to 50, 60K months and beyond. Now, um, Today's session is going to be all around the platinum clients. Now, a signature sales system is really, really integral to your agency. And I think it's more integral than the candidate piece. Now, obviously, we're going to be covering off the candidate strategies um, later on in day two and three. But we've got to start with foundation. So one thing like you, lo I learned a lot from when I studied Elon Musk, for example, he talks about reverse engineering everything back to first principles and boiling it down to its key fundamental parts. And the number one thing that is the lifeblood for every recruitment agency is clients, because at the end of the day, they are the clients that actually pay you the money. So you need to make sure that like, for you to progress from one-off spot business to get to repeatable client business where you can actually start doing 100K and beyond with a certain client, we have to create a signature sales system that is unique. And we also have to target platinum clients. So um, what we're going to do today is we're going to cover off and we're going to build out our unique signature sales system. So we're going to do this all together. And then you're going to be going away and having your own unique signature sales system that you're going to be able to pitch to your clients and I'm going to give you a few little tips and tricks of what I've done in order. And I'm going to show you behind the scenes of how I've won my platinum clients. So I'm going to actually go through the outreach strategy, how, how we did the meeting, how we closed them, et cetera. Um, and you're going to get a lot to take away today. So just to refresh to where we we're at so far. So we're all building out the new era agency model. Now, that starts with the client attraction system. So all of you that are on this call now should at some point have got your either GMAS or reply.io, your email automation strategies working. You should all be in the process of uh, recording and delivering Loom outreach and follow-ups. And you should all have your sales pipeline in place in terms of like your streak CRM system uh, to target the Dream 100 clients. Now, what we're going to build today is your client conversion system. So this is the piece that for most of you to take things to the next level to win platinum clients, we need a consistent with how we're actually going to convert a client into either exclusive or retained paid up front. So I'm going to walk you through the exact steps that you're going to implement in your business so you don't have to rely on spot business anymore. And then in... Uh, day three, we're going to go through more in depth in terms of actually building a ready-made virtual assistant sourcing team and system. So actually how we go from like one VA to a team of five to 10 and how we can actually get them consistently booking in the right calls and helping you make more placements to free your time or more. And then the delivery machine is hiring your first A player recruiter or second or third, depending on what stage you're at. So I think from what I'm seeing in the group so far, most people are going to be solopreneurs and, and want to start 
not doing deals themselves one day because you want to start having a proper business, not just a solopreneur business. Now, if you want to stick to the solopreneur business, that's still okay and it's still relevant for you. But I think like hiring an airplay recruiter was one of the biggest things that I did in my business to give me the freedom to, to live in Dubai, to travel the world, to have six holidays a year and not have to work in the business with them. So the, what we're going to cover today is by the end of the workshops, these are the things that you're going to be able to master. So the first thing is going to be how to craft the offer to your client. So we're going to use case studies and we're going to get three live case studies today, actually done and actioned. And I'm going to give you the actual templates that we're going to reach on to clients. So you're going to have case studies and we're going to be able to really tackle our clients' problems. And then we're going to create a pricing and bundle solution. So you've actually got a productized service that you can deliver to your client that is going to help you stand out above the crowd. And then we're going to create your unfair advantage. So this is going to be your secret recipe that you're going to be putting into your template and we're going to create our own pitch decks together. And then I'm going to walk you through the storytelling technique that I've used in order to, when we pitch for clients, to give you more leverage and providing proof of success to be able to close with confidence. And then we're going to build out our delivery method. So I'm going to give you, and I think this is a real game changer for uh all of the businesses. And on the previous workshop we've done, this has worked a treat to everyone that's been on it to really like nail down your client exclusive. I'm going to give you the plug and play talent pipeline funnel that we use as a mini ATS to give to our clients. So this is going to be a delivery method of how you're going to deliver the candidates, I, I, the CVs, the interview feedback, et cetera, in with um, your longer term platinum clients that you, they can have uh, what we call like a candidate uh, nurturing system. And then we're going to walk through upselling current clients. So all of you should have current clients. and I'm going to walk you through how we can sort of upsell them onto your service to get them from contingent to exclusive or retained. And then I'm going to walk you through the um, clever closing hoop that we use in order to not have a situation where you send the terms across and then a client goes to you. So I'm going to walk you through how you can actually close them there and then on the meeting. And then how we're going to wrap that together in terms of once we pitched it, we need to put it into like a really highly like presentable format that they can see and they can sign and like you can nail them down. So I'm going to walk you through and I'm going to give you our templates of how you would actually put them into an electronic proposal that makes it all fancy and makes it look really nice and exclusive and really premium. So we're going to cover that off and that means you can walk away with like live proposals. So welcome everyone again. And uh, over these next three days, it's going to be exciting because this is the time that you've invested in yourself to work on the business, not in it. So all of you like here today have been running around in the business, doing it, doing it, doing it. And now we're going to like sort of like see the helicopter approach um, and start looking onto the business. Um, so think of it like a 30,000 foot view of like how we're going to look and structure the business. And what I'm going to share with you in, in a second is, is going to be a clip from one of my uh, mentors, uh, Michael Gerber. So for some of you that have uh, been through the program, you might have heard me mention e the book before. And in the e format, um, they say that regardless of how much you may identify with being an entrepreneur, it's a myth because most businesses are started by them. By our definition, our entrepreneurs are people who go into business with a vision of a company they want to create that doesn't rely on their own ability to produce results. Now, most businesses, in fact, are started by what we call technicians, people who create a place to go to work for themselves and make the fatal assumption that understanding the technical work of their business means they'll be able to successfully build a business that does that technical work. But that's just an assumption, and that's just not true because it's not only the primary cause of failure rate of businesses, because it's just solely reliant on you. Half of all businesses never make it to their fifth anniversary, but it leaves the survivors in survival mode and many are just hanging on and others haven't lost their passion, just not having fun anymore. So the reason why we're doing this today and working on our business is because I know all of you, because I've been in your shoes. You don't want to keep doing what you're doing for the next five or 10 years i.e. like chasing candidates down, chasing clients down, like trying to close deals, interview feedbacks. 
It might be fun now, but trust me, you'll, the passion soon dwindles. So you want to be like always passionate about working on the business and being that entrepreneur as, as such. And we want to start replacing you with systems and processes over time. Like you're not going to go away today and then suddenly just be working on the business 100% of the time. But we're laying the foundations right for you to build for the future and to give you the opportunity if you want to do that. Now, to give you an example, so say if you're like a real estate agent and it's the same with a recruitment agent, you may be outstanding at like representing clients who are looking to buy a new home or sell the one they have, but it doesn't matter because that you're prepared to create a real estate firm that can thrive whether you're there or not and free to live the life you really want. And that's what we all want to do in our recruitment agency because it's just not enough. Like it can only get you so far if you're going to do everything in a business. At a certain point, you can't help but feel the impact of all the demands of owning and operating a business that you just weren't prepared for. Trying to stay on top of it all can be pretty overwhelming. And I've been there because you can spend a lot of time working without feeling that you're getting anywhere. It's a tra tragic expenditure of time and effort. And I'm sure you all have been there where you finish days and think, what have I actually accomplished today? You've went round and round in circles and you haven't actually like got momentum. And there's, there's no worse feeling as a business owner when that happens. And it just doesn't have to be that way. Like working on it, not just in it, can change everything. Now, the call to work on it is a call to think the way of a true entrepreneur and how they think. To the entrepreneur, the business operates without them. To the technician and the recruiter, the business operates because of them. So today we're going to work on, not in the business. And I'm going to share with you just a brief clip of um, one of my mentors, uh, Michael Gerber. And I'm going to walk you through exactly what he means by this. If you're doing it, doing it, doing it, doing it, doing it, then you're not doing the e-myth. You're not thinking about the e-myth. You're not thinking about the true perspective of an entrepreneur, as Ray Kroc was. 52 years old, the guy was, selling, peddling, molded milk machines. He was a peddler at 52 years old. And he walked into McDonald's to sell him a multi-mixer molded milk machine. And he walked out of McDonald's with the franchise rights to McDonald's. He was absolutely astonished by what he saw. How come you guys have them franchises? How come you guys have them franchises? He said to the McDonald brothers. And they said, well, we already tried, but it doesn't work. He said, shit, I'll do it. And they gave him the franchise rights to McDonald's. 50-year-old, 52-year-old peddler of molded milk machines went back to Des Plaines, Illinois, borrowed the money from anybody and everybody he could to start his first store, what he called his franchise prototype. Never made a hamburger, never made a french fry, never made a milk, milkshake. Never did it, never did it, never did it. Went to work on it like 30,000 feet above. We talk about that as though it's out of the world. It is out of the world. You got to get out of the world if you're going to transform the world. You got to transcend your company if you're going to transform your company to be able to transform the lives of every single person it's intended to transform. So Ray Kroc went to work on McDonald's, not in it, never made a hamburger, never... I said that, didn't I? It's very, very, very important that you get this. You understand how many other people started hamburger stands at the same time that Ray Kroc did, and they're still making hamburgers if they're still alive? Charlie and Jim and Judy and Jerry, do you understand they're still there doing it, doing it, doing it, getting greasy, getting greasy, getting greasy, getting greasy, and they're not going anywhere, and their company's not going anywhere, and their people aren't going anywhere. There's no growth, there's no activity, there's no opportunity. Do you understand today, right now, today, last year, over 600 McDonald's hamburger stands were opened in China? Are you shitting me? Do you know how old that is? And yet, it's still growing, 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 growing. How is that possible? Because it was built to grow. Now, you could say, yeah, but look what they're selling. I say, it's beside the point. Muhammad Yunus's grand main bank is growing. It's growing, 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 because it's a turnkey system. 
an absolutely infallible turnkey system. You can plug it in here, plug it in here, plug it in here, plug it in here. Do you understand the genius, the brilliance, the absolute astonishing resilience of the man called Muhammad Yunus, the man called Ray Kroc, in order to see from 30,000 feet the absolutely perfected perfection of that system that will enable him in the hands of kids at minimum wage to produce the most successful small business in the world. Let me show you how it works. Let me show you how it works. It works so you don't have to. And what in the hell does that have to do with technology? You understand? Most people confuse when they read the e-myth, they confuse it. They become trapped in the conversation about a system. They think it's about the system and it's not about the system. It's about inventing a system. And inventing a system includes all of the pieces and parts of your company. This one co, one co, please write that down. One co, one co includes all of the key components of the company you're about to invent that becomes one co, the only thing. It is a brand. It has a life of its own. It speaks it, it says it, 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 it does it, it completes it, it performs it, it produces it. This extraordinary, exquisite operating system. Ray Kroc could see the system. Muhammad Yunus could see the system. No, not that way, this way. No, not that way, this way. No, not that way. Every single component part of your company. And that's what we rise above. And that's what we work on. The design of the company called OneCo, called MyCo, called TheCo, the company that stands alone, separate from everything else as something remarkable. So one thing like you learn from um, the McDonald's franchise, Ray Kroc, is was systems, but it wasn't just like every system. It's like making sure you've got the foundations right so you can grow. So you're all solopreneurs now, but when you want to grow the business, we need to get the foundations right. And we want to have turnkey systems. So one turnkey system you're going to have today is going to be the signature sales system. Now, one thing I was going to ask you, um, all of you now, just to put in the chat, is how much time are you in the business now in terms of a percentage split between working on the business and in it? If you can just let me know in the chat, that would be great. Hundred percent, Sheila. Rebecca, hundred percent. Um, Ken was 70%. I'm now around 20% in. Wow, very good. 90% in for quick. 90% in and 20% on quick. <laughs> I think you mean 80%. I'll let you off. And 90% and 5%. <laughs> okay. So we need to all become passionate about the company we're creating. Now, when I look back at like, um, the start of my business, Ronald James, I was very, very passionate about my company. We started off at the start. We are the Northeast leading digital and tech recruitment agency. We never were at the time. We are now. But I was passionate. I was passionate about, I didn't just want a business that was just solely relying on me because I did not want to speak to candidates every day. And I wanted to make sure that I built systems in the business to give me leverage. And you all want to become as passionate about the company that you were creating, the way your product or service is delivered, as you are about the product or service itself. So to, like, you'd have to think of your business as the product, which is what we're going to do today, which is why I really drill into the signature sales system and the pitch deck, because when, you, you, when you're really passionate about your business, you need to have a framework and a way of how you're going to present your product and service to your client so you can actually over deliver the value that they need. So let's dive in today. So signature sales system, what is it and why should you apply it? Now, the number one reason why we're going to apply this 
is we want to get platinum clients because for us all to get to 50K, then 100K months, having a small amount of platinum clients will be enough to get us there. And the only way to get platinum clients, we need to deliver something different than a traditional recruitment agency. So your t- traditional agency would see an ad or respond and then just say, look, yep, this is what we do, we specialists in this. And they go through a job response type of script. How long has the role been open for? What are you looking to hire? Why should the, like, the candidate join you, et cetera? And here's, the, here's our rates. This is how we work. We'll send across CVs. Now, that's no good anymore. And the new era agency way and the way that the better agencies are doing this now, we need a way to actually um, engage with platinum clients and offer them something unique and different. So if we, if we look at like the top 10 clients, now this snapshot was taken quite a while ago, like it's it's a lot past this now, but our top 10 clients generated over $1.5 million worth of revenue in uh, the time when we first started. So the talk around the Pareto law, you've probably all heard that, the 80-20 rule. So 80% of your revenue will come from 20% of your clients. And that is so true. It's, a lot, it's true in a lot of ways in business, the 80-20 Pareto law. So we just want to focus on platinum clients because if you all focus on platinum clients, that's what's going to take you to the next level of seven figures because you only need a handful of them. Now, the way to get them is what I'm going to show you and how we're going to deliver to them because you want to spend a lot more effort trying to win one platinum client than you do winning 10 contingency clients where you're going to have spot business. Doing things this way and getting platinum clients was the way that really, like, really took off my business in terms of the agency because once we started winning the big clients, like I don't need to win new business anymore. Like the systems work without me anyway. So we've got delivery people that will still do the pitch when, when needed, but we've got so many clients now that we've constantly delivered to year two, year three, year four, year five. Some of my best clients we've been working with for five or six years and did over a million dollars worth of revenue and with some of them. So you only need to do the hard work once, as long as you've got the delivery system work and then we're delivering on clients, which is what we're going to cover later on. But then once you've nailed this, like you've got this for life. If you want to build on different markets, you want to expand further, you're going to have this to repeat, just like a turnkey system that Michael Gerber says, into the next niche. So what is it? It's a proven repeatable sales process that helps you close more consistently and engage and retain platinum clients. This is a system that you can then delegate as an asset in your business and you can then get other people in your business to deliver. Now, if I was all in your shoes, I deliver. I still delivered the, the pitch and I still do sometimes when, it, when it's required. But for the next three, four, five years, you can be the one that's going to be pitching this because again, you only need a handful of clients. So you want to make sure you're the face and brand of the business but we want to have a proven, repeatable process to deliver it. And then how should you apply it? So a lot of the the world's changed over the last 12, 18 months in terms of face-to-face meetings. So originally I used to go with my laptop and I used to pitch it and present it with the client because I always thought first impressions matter. It used to be good meeting face-to-face. Now that's all flipped on its head. All of our Uh, pitches now and all of your pitches can be done over zoom and this can be done with new clients and your current clients so this is going to work both ways so next time you get a current client you're going to walk them through this process and you're going to say look we've got something exciting to show you of how we're actually going to engage with your talent differently in terms of delivering the service as well so this is going to work for new and current clients but we're going to be delivering this over zoom just like i am with you and why we're going to do this repeat business. So you probably heard the saying in business before, it costs and takes a lot more effort to win a new client than it does to just keep getting more repeat business with current clients because they know you like you trust you, you're building up that partnership. So we want to focus on repeat business. We're not interested in one-off spot business all of the time contingency where you know you can't really deliver more than one placement a year with a client. They're still okay to have as a contingency basis just to send candidates to that you've maybe got for your platinum clients as well. But we want to be in the mindset that we're looking for repeat business now because your time is precious. You want to make as much money as humanly possible within your small business. To do that, repeat business is going to be a lot easier because if you're going to have to keep pitching all the time, 
agreeing terms, going back through the processes with clients, getting a feel out if they're going to move fast or not. It's going to be a lot of wasted effort. So we want to be really drilling down into getting repeat business that you can generate $50,000 per year with each platinum client. That's sort of the, the marker, as it were, of what is a platinum client. We want to be looking between at least a minimum of three placements per year all the way to 10, 20, 30 placements per year. Because we want to pre- prepare your business for it to scale without you. Because once you've landed these big clients, that's when you can build an A player recruiter delivery team. Then they just make the placements for you. And you can just account manage the clients and it's a lot easier. So as the years go by in your business, you should be working less and less in the business and it should be easier and easier and easier and you should make more and more profit in theory. Mm-hmm.